This is a new series I'm going to do, most likely at very irregular intervals. Just like the title says, it's going to be about encounters with religion. When you live in the U.S., you tend to encounter religion here and there. Sometimes it's amusing, and sometimes it's a real pain in the ass. A while back, I was at a hospital with my wife for something she was having done. It was one of those religious ones, owned by a Catholic church, I think. Not something that would be our first choice, but there was this really outstanding doctor that uh, does some of his work there. It uh, and this this hospital has this interesting slogan of sorts posted in the rooms. It's something about being in God's healing presence. His healing presence, eh? Well, healing is nice and all that, but couldn't God have a preventative presence? Do you not think of that? I mean, if you can do anything, and therefore have any presence you want, wouldn't a preventative one be the one to have? Now, if he is everywhere, wouldn't you always be in his presence? So why bring it up? You'd think it would be impossible not to be in it. Now, suppose you have to be there to be in it, and it's healing because he didn't think about prevention. Why do they need the doctors and nurses, then? It's all right, you guys. Take the night off. God's healing presence will take care of this one. It's not like anyone ever says that. So, it looks like all God does is take credit for something your body does on its own. It's kind of like he's not there at all, isn't it? It seems like it would make people figure that there is probably no such thing as God. It doesn't, though. This all seems to make sense to most people around here. Now, when you register at a hospital like this, and, and also when you're getting your treatment, they ask you what your religious preference is. I think that's actually very nice, though. They understand that different people have different beliefs, and some have none at all. So, we said we were atheists, so our preference is no religion at all. That was all fine and dandy. They did still ask my wife if she wanted a prayer card, though. She inquired as to why they would ask that when they already knew she was an atheist. Well, apparently they have to ask everyone if they want one. No big deal. It's not like they force one on you and they don't start praying or waving a crucifix at you or anything like that. She did go on to recount a story where an atheist did want a prayer card because she said she would take all the help she could get. That was the only part I didn't really like. It was obviously a bullshit story, based on the no atheists in foxholes myth. I was just thinking, okay, whatever lady. Are you going to ask Thor to look over you too? Maybe Harry Potter can cast some sort of healing spell on you. How about a genie to grant you some wishes? Perhaps a Jedi can use the Force to fix your insides, so you don't have to have that operation after all. As encounters with religion go, it wasn't bad at all. It was just kind of silly. Future videos in this series will include ridiculous things that I see, like people praying at sporting events, for example, and also really stupid things that people say, like uh, telling everyone they're going to hell and that sort of thing.